Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome. My name is GBay99. Today we are continuing off of the gameplay from yesterday. Um, I have to make a bunch of videos today because I'm going to be spending the weekend in Seattle. But anyway, I want to talk to you guys today about a, kind of a weird topic. I want to talk to you guys about television sitcoms. So this is something that the majority of my audience is probably pretty young and won't completely understand or be able to relate to. But back in the early, I think it was like the 80s or the 80s or maybe early 90s, there was a television show called Cheers. I'm sure. Many of you have heard of it. Cheers, a very famous TV sitcom that was considered at the time the greatest TV sitcom of all time. It was considered just an amazing sitcom that that just captivated America. It was about a bar in Boston and, you know, a bunch of characters that lit, that, that are regulars at the bar and how they interact with each other. It went on for like 650 episodes. It was very successful, and of course, right after Cheers uh, sort of ended, I think, as Cheers was winding down its last few seasons, then we had, in my opinion, the greatest TV sitcom of all time come on, and that was Seinfeld. Seinfeld got its start in his first few seasons right as Cheers was ending, and then everyone was sort of shocked, you know, thinking that Wow, Cheers. This, I mean, we thought Cheers was good. Look how amazing Seinfeld is. Anyway, the reason I bring this up is because recently, I think about a year ago, Cheers went up on Netflix uh, for the Netflix online instant viewing. You could see every, every one of the 650 episodes on Netflix. You can still watch them all today. And because it went up on Netflix, a lot of people decided like, hey, you know, this, this is Cheers. This was, at its time, the greatest TV sitcom of all time. Let's go watch it. This might not be true for everyone that went back and watched it, but from my experience, speaking with my parents, any older friends that I have, or any of my parents' friends, any older crowd that grew up in that era, most of the people that I've spoken with have all said that they were kind of shocked that Cheers is not as good as they thought it was. It was built up as the greatest TV sitcom of all time, being a hilarious show that made thousands upon thousands upon millions of people all laugh, and all the jokes, like everyone was sort of going back and watching it and saying, wow, I can't believe I thought this was funny. I mean, I, I remember laughing hysterically at this show, but it's not really, maybe I'm cracking a smile here. It's not as funny as I thought it was before. And that is the lesson of today's video perspective is one of the most important things in life. Everyone thought Cheers was amazing because it was possibly the greatest TV sitcom to happen up until that point, or w one of the funniest, or, you know, it, it was the number one show in America for a while, I think. Um, but people didn't realize how funny, how much more funny TV sitcoms could get until Seinfeld came along and showed you. Here's probably a lot more relatable of an example to you guys. Do you guys remember growing up and watching a television show or a movie that you just thought was amazing but actually wasn't all that good? Like you go back when you're older, you go back and watch it again to relive nostalgia. Like for me, it was Thunderbirds. Do you guys remember that movie, Thunderbirds Are Go? When I saw that movie, I was like six years old or whatever and I thought it was awesome. That was because I didn't have anything to compare it to. Two, I didn't realize how good a movie really could be until you watch another fantasy movie like Star Wars or something that shows you, okay, this is obviously a lot better. You need that kind of perspective and it's something that you lack and something you can't really understand until you reach a certain point in the future. In yesterday's video, we talked a bit about high school, right? And how in high school, it can feel very overbearing and feel like it has a really big impact on your life and your future, but that's only because you haven't really experienced your future and gotten to know what it's actually going to be like. And because of that, you might end up putting a lot of significance on high school, but that's something you really shouldn't do. You're not going to know how awesome your life is going to be in the future until you reach that future. It's the kind of thing I want to remind you guys. Sometimes I see some messages of people asking for advice, saying that they're going through a hard time or they're struggling with depression or struggling with some problem that's popped up in their life. And you know what? If you are struggling with something like that, then your life might suck for a while. If you're going through a bad breakup, if you're dealing with a divorce or a death in the family or anything like that, your life might suck for a little while and you're going to be sad. But your life will get better. That might sound really cliched right now, but it really will. It will get better and you have no idea how much better it will be until you reach it. Whenever you're going through a rough time in life, I feel like that's a really good attitude to have, so I wanted to make sure uh, I reminded you guys of that today. Anyway, I hope you guys all enjoyed watching today's video. I will, of course, see you all tomorrow, but until then, thank you very much for watching. Good luck in solo queue and have a wonderful day.